Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and I'm here to talk to you guys about mechanical keyboards. What you need to know and why you should buy them. Okay guys, let's go. Mechanical keyboards have been trending ever since, you know, the rise of gaming, especially when COVID started. Because, you know, all of us are staying at home and we had nothing to do but watch Netflix and play games, alright? So, when it comes to keyboards, what's the difference between a regular membrane keyboard and a mechanical keyboard is that a mechanical keyboard, it feels good to press, yeah. Now, when you type, when you type on a regular membrane keyboard, it has no sound and it's like you're pressing a normal button. But if you're using a mechanical keyboard, it's like you're pressing a typewriter. It feels good to press, it has feedback, it's amazing. And one other thing that you should know is a lot of us like mechanical keyboards because of the sound. There is no silent mechanical keyboard out there. I mean, there are mechanical keyboards that don't sound as loud as others, but mechanical keyboards do have sound. And the sound is amazing and relaxing, it feels good to press, and it makes you type words faster and you can even improve your gaming experience by 10 to 15 percent that might sound a bit low but trust me it really makes a difference ever since i bought my own mechanical keyboard i've been typing quite fast now when i'm using my membrane keyboard back then i was used to 40 words per minute now i'm like 70 words per minute Okay, I, and I'm nearing, I'm getting near to 80 words per minute already. Now, let's talk about the sizes of the mechanical keyboards. So, me, I use a 100% mechanical keyboard. What is a mechanical, what is a 100% me mechanical keyboard? Well, a 100% mechanical keyboard is, well, of course, you have your, you have your letters, you have your arrow keys, the print screen buttons, and you also have the numpad, you know the numbers on the right side, that's a 100% mechanical keyboard. Why did I pick a 100% mechanical keyboard? It's because I always, use, I always use those numbers, I always use the numpad. Because as you know, I am an online teacher. So I always do transactions, I always do grades and numbers, so I always use those numpads. Next, we have the TKL. Now the TKL is basically, it stands for 10 keys less, so it is shorter because there is no numpad at all, so that's basically it. A lot of people like TKL keyboard sizes because they don't use the numpad that much. Mostly students, I believe, don't use TKL. Alright, now after TKL, we have a 75% keyboard. What is a 75% keyboard? A 75% keyboard is a keyboard just like the T just like the TKL, but it's more compact. It's more squeeze in. No spaces whatsoever. For 75% keyboards, 35% of people in the world who owe keyboards use a 75% keyboard. They like it, they like it compact. Just like using a regular flat keyboard laptop. And last but not the least, the most famous, one of the most famous keyboards out there that a lot of gamers use is the 60% keyboard. Now for the 60% keyboard, it has no arrows, no numpads, no print screen. It's just the letters, the shifts, and the enter button and spacebar. So this is primarily used for gaming and typing. I really noticed that if I use a 60% keyboard, I type a lot better. It's because when you are typing, it, if you're typing and you're not using a 60% keyboard, your hands are actually not like this, but like this. But if you're using a, me if you're using a mechanical 60% keyboard, your hands are like this, okay? Because as you know, if you're looking at a keyboard, yeah, the letters are here, the arrows are here, and the numpads are here. So you're typing like this, but if you're using a... 60% keyboard and the keyboard's at the center you're typing like this, okay? And so size really depends on your preference. Now, let's talk about the switches. There are many different color switches. 
we're just going to focus on the three main switches but you should know first we have my personal favorite which is the blue switches these are the noisiest ones okay they have the click sound now if you are clicking on a membrane keyboard it does this no sound okay but if you are pressing on a mechanical keyboard with blue switches, it has a sound and it has a click sound. Now we also have brown switches. Brown switches are for normal usage. That means you don't have to be a gamer to use these. You can use it for office work, school work. But you can also but there are some people who do use it for gaming. Yeah, but not the best. So these are the most quiet switches out there but they still have a sound so and last but not the least we have red switches red switches are known to be used by gamers why because there's no click but there's sound and it's smooth and fast red switches are known to be the fastest switches out there and known to be used by gamers so Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a bit different from my other videos, but I really think I should make, you know, other tech videos as well, aside from Axie and PC setups. I really do love PCs, and I do really like PS4s or PS5 videos. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please remember to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Okay guys, see ya!